Creating Packages We have three steps to create a package. First, we navigate to the Object Navigator. Next, we create the attributes of the package to be created. And finally, we assign the package to a change request. Let's take a look in the SAP system how to create a package. Okay, so let's create our first package in, inside the, the SAP system. Before we create the package, we need to create a change re request. This is because we need to assign our package to a change request. Normally, uh, your project manager will give you the change request for you to use, but in this case, I'm going to teach you how to create your own change request. So we need to navigate to the transport organizer, transaction SE01. This is the extended version of the transport organizer. Once inside the transport organizer, we click on the create icon and we choose a workbench request. We click OK. Now the system asks us for a short description. So we're going to enter a BAP training course and we're going to save our change request. As you can see, the, the system displays our request. This is the ABAP training course request. This is the user, my user in this case, and this is our code for our change request. As you can see, our change request is unclassified. So we need to classify this task. So we click on the menu re request task and we change the type. We need, we need to select our change request first. So we select it and now we go to change the type. We choose the development correction type and we click OK. Now the type of the task has been changed to development correction. So now we're ready to create our first package. So we click back on the system, back one more time, and now we navigate to the object navigator. That will be transaction code SE80. Once inside the object navigator, we're ready to create our new package. So we select from the drop down menu package and we enter the name of, of our package. So it's, we type the letter C. This is very important. You always need to start the name of your object with the letter C or the letter Y. That means that it is a custom object. It is not a standard object that the SAP system has. This is going to be our new object. And the way we tell the system that it is a customized object is by using the letter C or the letter Y. So we use the letter C and then we type the name of our package. It's going to be a BAP course. We press enter and the system asks us if, if we want to create that object because it does not exist. Yes, we want to create the object. We put a short description for our, uh, for our package. It's going to be a BAP training course package.
After we enter the short description, we have to enter an application component. In this case, since we are not going to work in a specific application component, because this is just a training course, we are going to leave this field blank. But when you are working in a project, normally you have to choose your application component. So we leave this blank in this case, so we press cancel. The software component, we should always use home for customer development. This is going to be our main package, so we check this option and we save. Now the system asks us for a change request, so we are going to look for the change request we created earlier. So we browse through the system and we choose a BAP training course and we click OK and we click OK one more time. Now the system is saving our package and we have created our first package. This is the ABAP course package. We're going to place all of our objects inside this package from now on. Introduction to the ABAP programming language. The ABAP programming language is type. It enables multi-language applications. It enables SQL access. It has been enhanced as an object-oriented language. It's platform independent. It's upward compatible. ABAP programs are made up of individual statements. The first word in a statement is called an ABAP keyword. Words must always be separated by at least one space. Each statement must end with a period. Statements can be indented. Statements can take up more than one line. You can have multiple statements in a single line. For indentations and for converting uppercase lowercase letters, you can use the pretty printer, the correspondingly labeled button in the e editor. Common lines are introduced with an asterisk. The code generator recognizes the corresponding line as a comment so that it will be ignored by the runtime system. If you wish to have the rest of a line set as a comment, you must use double quotation marks. 